My girlfriend had sex with the male friends she told me not to worry about. Now she's begging me not to break up with her. How do I navigate this? My girlfriend, we'll call her Katie, and I met in college and have been together for four years. I'm the first person she's ever had a relationship with because her parents were strict in high school. Our parents are religious and don't believe in sex before marriage, and while I don't really care, she's very close with her parents, so we've been waiting. Now that she's graduated, I was planning on proposing within the next few months. I had a ring picked out and everything. I was head over heels for this girl. That all changed last night. Or last weekend, really. Katie has had a male best friend since high school that her parents never liked because he claimed to be gay. Let's call him Liam. She was excited to be going to the same college as him because it meant they could hang out as much as they wanted. I've never been a big fan of the male best friend thing, but he's gay, so whatever. Except two years ago, he came out as bisexual. I never really liked the vibes when he was around her, so I asked Katie to stop hanging out with him alone. She accused me of not being supportive of him and trying to control her, just like her parents. I told her it was her choice if she wanted to keep seeing him alone, but I wouldn't be sticking around for it. It was the biggest problem we'd ever had in our relationship, but we worked through it. The compromise was that Liam and his boyfriend could hang out with me and my girlfriend together as couples, but never alone. I never wanted to cut her off from her friends. With this stipulation, however, the four of us only got together twice before Liam ended up transferring to a different college over the summer. My girlfriend stayed in contact with them over Discord, stayed friends with both of them when they broke up and formed a gaming server with them and some of their other friends. Most of these friends were men, but she assured me nothing funny was going on. Most of them even had girlfriends, she said. Last weekend was Liam's birthday party, and he invited her. Katie wanted to talk to me about it first, to make sure I was okay with it. She said she wanted to go since she hadn't seen him in two years, and it was only a two-hour drive away. A bunch of her friends from the Discord server that she had never met in person before were going to be there, women included, and Liam's girlfriend would be there too. Since I had a weekend trip planned, leaving Friday, returning Sunday, I unfortunately wouldn't be able to go with her, but I told Katie I trusted her and had no problems with her going to see her friends. The problem started Saturday night. She texted me in the morning when she was leaving for the party, she texted me when she got there, and she texted me a couple times throughout to check in. Katie told me that she had planned on driving back around 9 or 10, but it was around that time that the text messages stopped. I assumed she was just having a good time and didn't want to seem controlling, so I didn't bother her. I did stay up to watch her location and make sure she got home though, and she did around 2 a.m. It was unusual, but I trusted her and didn't want to make any assumptions. I would call her in the morning and she would explain that she just got carried away having fun with her friends, I thought. I called her Sunday morning and she didn't answer. She texted back a few minutes that she had been sleeping, had a hangover, and wasn't feeling well. That was very strange because Katie doesn't drink. I told her to drink lots of water and that I hope she felt better and got on my flight home. When I arrived at my apartment, I found her curled up in my bed in the dark. She has a key to my apartment, but hardly ever needs it because usually I'm with her to do the unlocking. I asked her why she hadn't stayed at her apartment to rest up, but she didn't say anything. Since then, the entire week, she has been saying she's not feeling well and has not left my room. She's taken off work and I've been going home on my lunch breaks to make sure she was eating. I was worried about her, but in the back of my mind, I was also suspicious about what had happened at the party over the weekend. Late last night, Katie woke me up from the couch, sobbing. It was the first time she had left my room since I'd gotten home, other than to use the bathroom. I consoled her until she had calmed down enough to be coherent and asked her what was wrong. She told me she had done something horrible. She told me Saturday night she had somehow gotten really drunk on accident and Liam offered to drive her home. Three of her friends from the gaming server on Discord got in a second car to follow them to take Liam back home after they got to Katie's apartment. They helped her up the stairs and into her apartment. Then she said she had sex with them, all of them, all four men. Katie said she doesn't remember most of it, that she was really out of it. 
She said she's been sick ever since trying to figure out how to tell me because she loves me so much and didn't want to hurt me. Didn't want to hurt me but gave away her virginity that she was supposedly saving for marriage to four other men instead of the man who spent the past four years caring for her. She said she wanted to tell me right when I got back, which is why I found her in my apartment, but she couldn't bring herself to because she didn't want to lose me. She begged me not to break up with her. I told her I needed some time to myself to think. She then begged me not to make her go back to her apartment. I didn't feel like fighting, so I just told her she could go back into my room. I could hear her crying intermittently all night. I have to admit I was brought to tears myself. I can't believe how she would throw away our whole relationship, the four years we've built together, over one party. I was going to propose soon, I trusted her, and now it's broken. I'm at work and I haven't been able to focus all day. Part of me wants to tell her to get out the second I get home if she's still there and that I never want to see again. Part of me wants to talk to her more and see if there's anything left to salvage. I can't tell which side is more unreasonable. How do I navigate this?